Grenada is moving forward with plans to formulate and establish a national security policy to create strategies to enhance safety and security for citizens. Prime Minister and Minister for National Security, Honorable Deacon Mitchell, on Thursday, during an address to the nation, said government is collaborating with key stakeholders to put measures in place to curb acts of crime and violence. He said on June 12, 2023, a National Security Council steering committee was established to start the process. According to Prime Minister Mitchell, recent reports of violence locally is not the reality Grenada is willing to accept. Therefore, steps will be taken to ensure more positive reviews can be realized. This steering committee, comprised of dedicated and skilled individuals from various sectors, will be tasked with providing leadership and oversight of the process that will result in the establishment of the National Security Council. The National Security Council will in turn be tasked with formulating strategies and policies to safeguard our citizens. It will be required to create and implement a comprehensive national security policy and strategy for Grenada that will underscore the country's security goals and priorities. While law enforcement may be paramount to promoting law and order, securing the safety of communities and the country requires an integrated approach. The evolving local, regional, and global dynamics of crime and violence necessitates a collaborative mechanism for monitoring and developing proactive, preventative strategies to threats to safety, peace, and freedom from threats of violence and actual violence. Consultations will be held in the coming weeks at various sectors. A series of consultations will be held across our tri-island state to gather insights from citizens, including specifically and particularly our young people, churches and church leaders, at our schools, including our educators, students and administrators, non-governmental organizations, including community leaders, community groups and activists, law enforcement and the prison authorities, the labor and trade unions, the business and private sector, health sector workers, in particular mental and community health workers, and others to obtain their input in the development of a comprehensive national security plan to ensure that Grenada remains a safe, secure, and stable society. As Grenada hosts several events to commemorate its spice mass, Prime Minister Mitchell reminded citizens that safety is shared responsibility. He charged them to have clean, safe fun and to be their brother's keeper. This is the experience that I wish for us all this spice mass. A safe and enjoyable celebration where every individual has the opportunity to relax and revel in the beauty of our rich heritage whether you choose to parade in the bands, enjoy the various live shows, or taking the festivities from a distance. Safety is everyone's business. As we delve deeper into the festive season, the public can expect to see a strong presence of the Royal Grenada Police Force in communities across our island and in all major events to ensure the smooth flow of all activities and the safety of patrons.